Humble brag, I'm part of Jimmy's Breakfast Club. Dude, you this, have to earn it. It's you just, just can't like walk in once true. and all of a sudden I'm a member of the council right. members breakfast club. There's but I appreciate your 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 confidence and and your ego in in asserting that you're a member of the breakfast club. You know, there are people who have been doing that for 13 years. Okay. You showed up for one <laughs> Saturday, all of a sudden you're in the breakfast club, honestly. <laughs> Hello friends, I'm incredibly excited about today's episode because I'm here with my good friend, city council member, Jimmy Van Bramer. This is the first elected official I've ever had on the Dinosaur Show. I'm a little nervous, can you tell? Can you tell? Yes. Jimmy, like I just mentioned, is a member of New York City Council. It's true. What does that mean? Like, what, is, what do you do and why do you do it? Well, I do it because I love helping people and I believe that we have uh, too few good people in politics and in government. Sure, sure. So I like doing it. Um, and what do I do? I serve with 50 other members mm -hmm. and we vote on the budget of the city of New York, $85 billion. And we make the laws of the okay. city of New York. I'm also chair of the Cultural Affairs Committee, which near, near to my heart. Uh, yes. all of the museums and cultural institutions of the city of New York. Are they real questions? These are real questions. Yeah. Um, some have been in here for a while. Some I put in here specifically for your Well, business. I hope I pick the ones that you put in just for me. Don't worry, we can edit out the bad ones. <laughs> if you can increase any sense, which one would you like? Yeah, no, I could read. Um, <laughs> smell. Oh, interesting. Why? My sense of smell. Because uh, I love nothing more than to smell beautiful things, particularly flowers. Okay. And scents. Okay. And so... To be able to take even more of that in would be a blessing. So kind of like a dog. You know, David Letterman perfected the role of host, sort of offending, slightly mocking with their guests. Um, and and I really didn't realize that this was what this was about. What is my favorite non-musical artist? Basquiat. Didn't see that coming. Bang. Interesting. All right. If I could relive one year of my life, yes. What year would it be? In 1988. I had the uh, audacity to believe that I might be ready to come out of the closet as a gay man. So 1988, because I, I tried to come out, uh, but I wasn't ready. Am I the first gay guy on the show? Yes, you're the first gay man, you're the first city council member. Right. You're the first person with gray hair. <laughs> you. <laughs> what is my favorite dinosaur? T-Rex, obviously. Obviously? Yes. Okay, so Jimmy Van Bramers. Favorite dinosaurs of the T-Rex. Of course, I have a couple for you, so not only do I have this guy for you, that's for you. Wow, um, honestly. Special, because you're a special guest. I spare no expense with the <laughs> smallest T-Rex ever in the history of the world. It gets better. Do you not want the rest of the gifts? What? Oh, I totally want the rest okay, of the gifts. Okay, how about an origami T-Rex? Oh, uh, that's that's better. That's better, That's right? better, that's kind of cool. I always like their ferociousness. True. And, uh, and their form. Do you ever, have you ever heard people making fun of their arms? Do people? No. How many people do you hang out with that are that are making fun of T Rex's small arms? Literally everyone on the internet makes fun of T Rex's small arms. Well, which is fair. You can make fun of them because they have small arms. You can make fun of them because T Rex only had two fingers, where the vast majority of his relatives had three or more. How do you feel about T Rex if it were covered in feathers? I think that would be like a T Rex at a drag show and I like that a lot. We have evidence of feathers, even in dinosaurs as big as Eutyrannus, which is kind of like a T-Rex, maybe half its size, covered in feathers. We haven't found direct evidence of featheration on T-Rex itself, but I think it's just a matter of time. Jimmy, you yes. came on tour with me at the American Museum of Natural History. Great day. On our Museum Act tour. Amazing. Thank you. Best tour ever. Thank you. All of you uh, should take it. <laughs> we saw T-Rex. Yes. Do you remember learning anything cool about T-Rex? I do. Okay. The teeth. Well, the thing that blew my yes. mind when I learned about T-Rex teeth, not only are they curved, so like whatever it's grabbing and biting, if it tries to pull away, it's yeah, not. It's, it's not only good, going one direction. Not a good situation. But secondly, on a real T-Rex tooth, you would actually see serrations on two different edges, like a double-sided steak knife. On that little model, it looks like this T-Rex is, is being a slapper. We now know that T-Rex and many of its therapod cousins were clappers, That's pretty cool. not slappers. So when you do your T-Rex impersonation, First of all, two fingers, turn right. your wrist in to nice. make it anatomically correct. Could you do that again? Clappers. Yeah, that's awesome. Not slappers. I love it. Oh, oh my goodness. What? I broke. You broke it? I broke the T-Rex's arm. Oh no. I think I was playing with them too much. Yeah, if you're not careful, if you play with it too much, it'll break. That's not true at all. <laughs>